Struth, I think we made it a little bit big. So what you'll need is some aluminium tubing, 25.4 millimeters in diameter, some tech screws, a tech bit and a drill, a tape measure, a hacksaw, a hacksaw jig, and the 3D printed parts are motor mounts times four and a body. Now we design these in Fusion 360. We design the parts to look semi-presentable, functional, and the most important thing, easy to print. All these parts printed without any support and using PLA plastic, and they worked pretty well. Now, the arms we measured off at 450, we didn't really have any idea what we were gonna make this size, but when we had all the printed bodies, we sort of just guessed and that's what kind of looked right to us. Now, in cutting the arms, it was a bit hard for us to do it with one person, so we got both of us holding it down. Not a big deal. Now, with the arms, we measured off how far they were going to go in, because essentially this body doesn't have anything stopping the arms from going all the way through and popping out the other side. So we want them evenly spaced and not affecting each other, but going in maximum distance for strength. So we measured this, marked with tape, and then got the tech screws out and drilled down. Now uh, it's important to make sure while using the tech screws, you don't drill in and over tighten them because over tightening can, can cause them to de-thread and basically make the screw useless and the hole useless. So if you get another screw, it's just gonna be as useless. Useless, useless, useless. Now, once we got all these in, it was then on to putting in the motor mounts. Now, the motor mounts will slide in exactly the same way. We printed these on the Lulzbot Mini, which the body was printed on a TiVo Black Widow. The Black Widow seemed to go in actually a bit better, the poles, even though they were everything's the exact same dimensions. Don't ask me why, but that's just how the cookie crumbles. And again, just using the tech screws, we screw down, remembering not to over tighten. Now, the total weight of the drone at this stage is about one kilo. And it's important to note that the design's universal. So you can make the arms whatever size you want. If you want to make it short and stubby and only have probably a 400, a millimeter drone you can or you can have a big one like ours in the next part we'll show you how to blow up the electronics <coughs> i mean wire your drone whoa 